Hello everybody and welcome to another Games for Dads video. This is the one you have all been waiting for, the top 10 fusion cards. And before we start our top 10, just in case you don't know what a fusion card is, if you're new, go to the bottom there, look for that tab, and there you see all the different fusion cards. These are the ones that we want, there's loads of different cool ones, and we're going to run through the top 10. And to make a fusion card, click on the card and you will see there collect ingredients at the top. And you can see on that one I just need Pi and then I've got all the ingredients to make calculus. So that's the uh, fusion cards and how to make them. There's another one there, the Great Nothing. As you can see, that one I'm ready, but I don't want to use it, fuse it, because I like, I like that card. Okay, so that's the fusions. Have a quick look at those. And now, as I said, we are going to run down the top 10 fusion cards. So these are probably the ones you want to make first. I'm sure everybody's got different ideas, but here we go. Number 10, Da Vinci Master Artist. An opponent's random science card in hand locks this round, and your remaining science cards in hand gain 15 until played, and your opponent's cards, wherever they are, cost plus one. So that does quite a few different things. If you are building a science deck, maybe your Sue Baines deck at the beginning, Da Vinci Master Artist, definitely great fusion. And she, or he, I should say, Da Vinci, is in at number 10 in our countdown. Okay, number nine. Red Diamond. If you are losing the round, gain plus 100 next turn. Fantastic little card, this one. 5 for 35, so not too expensive. Pretty easy to fuse as well. So the Red Diamond uh, can be used in quite a lot of different decks. And he makes our countdown there at number nine for the red diamond so good luck making that one next on our top 10 fusion cards countdown then we have got at number eight the brain one of my favorite fusion cards to be honest your cards wherever they are gain plus 23 for two turns and this card locks for two turns so it does lock up for a couple of turns an opponent's random card in hand locks when you return that back to your deck. So first part on the draw, second part on the return. That's the brain. Three for 36, so quite low energy. Uh, not massive power, but it can be pretty strategic in a lot of different decks. So number eight, the brain. Continuing with our top 10. Number seven, Joan of Arc. Great card this, eight for 93. So high energy, high power. A random card in your hand gains plus 55 until played. <coughs> Excuse me. That's Joan of Arc. Hidden our charts then. Our fusion chart at number seven. And again, definitely worth fusing that one if you're thinking on what to fuse next and you haven't got Joan of Arc, then go for it. Number six in our countdown then. Jurassic Coast. Your paleontology cards in hand gain plus 30 until played. Fantastic card. I nearly put this one a bit higher and I'm sure other people will put it higher, especially if you like to play paleontology decks. But Jurassic Coast, 5 for 53, but all your paleontology cards in hand gain plus 30. So if you are playing a paleo deck, probably one of the uh, cornerstone cards to include in that deck. So Jurassic Coast, nice little card there. Number five in our charts. Getting exciting now. Number five is Albert Einstein. Fantastic card, especially if you're just starting out. Albert Einstein, your science cards in hand gain plus 35 this turn. So he fits in absolutely lovely into your Sue Bones deck if you're playing that. And he buffs all your science. The only downside for me on that one is that it's this turn. I wish it was until play, then he would be an absolute legend of a card. But number five, that is Albert Einstein in our countdown of fusion cards. Number four, Purple Emperor, the beautiful butterfly. If you lost this turn, this card gains 100 permanently. So again, use him well, lose the turn, and he's suddenly four for 125. And if you can churn him a couple of times, by the time you get to the end round, you've got yourself a really powerful card in your deck. But number four, the Purple Emperor, really nice looking card. And as I said, he can be used really, really well. Number three, Virtual Reality. Well, this card, amazing on low energy and also in casual games. Your cards in hand gain plus 15 this turn. So that's not too bad. 
but on the return your remaining cards in hand cost minus two next turn that can come in really really handy if you're on a low energy or even if you're up against a drain deck uh, the virtual reality always worth having him or considering sticking him in your decks four for 45 is pretty versatile number three in our count oh did we miss one what happened number two sorry a christmas carol your cards wherever they are cost one until played did we miss number three i think we did it's a bit of a disaster anyhow let's carry on number two a christmas carol your cards wherever they are cost plus one until play great little card one for 180 so he does put a bit of power or energy onto your other cards but high energy weeks you can afford him okay let's do a few honorable mentions i guess we need to move all of these up one number sorry about that guys honorable mentions we got bloody mary great card especially if you're playing a mary deck check out our mary deck video Gain plus one energy this round and your cards with Mary in their name wherever they are gain plus 25 until played. That's bloody Mary. So an honourable mention in our fusion countdown. Another honourable mention for the fusion cards goes to... It does go to... Hang on, what's going on here? everything has gone wrong the zodiac there we go for each sign of the zodiac card in your deck this card gains plus 20 and tool played well if my reckoning there's 12 stars of the zodiac so there must be 12 zodiac cards so you could if that's right for each signs of the zodiac card in your deck this card gains plus 20 you could boost that up to 240 according to my calculations i haven't fused that card yet i think i'm going to do that and try a zodiac deck Sounds a lot of fun. So, honourable mention for the Zodiac. Three for zero. Another honourable mention goes to Colour Spectrum. If your deck has two or fewer cards from what, any album, your cards from that album, wherever they are, gain plus 11 until played. So, again, if you're playing a rainbow deck or you've got lots of different cards that you want to include, consider Colour Spectrum. Good fusion card. Dead easy. Probably the first one that you're going to make if you are a new player because all the ingredients are easy easy to get so color spectrum worth considering definitely an honorable mention in the fusion cards pizza everybody loves a piece of pizza your curious cuisine cards wherever they are gain plus 12 until played and your fang tooth moray card wherever it is gains plus 50 until played so that's pizza lovely looking pizza as well making me hungry 751 out the box there the fusion but again only works if you're building a curious cuisine deck which is a good deck and again check out our curious cuisine video for tips on making a deck around these cards the great barrier reef another honorable mention your ocean and sea cards in hand gain plus 30 this turn and your opponent's ocean and sea cards wherever they are lose minus 30 this round so really handy if you're playing an ocean and seas card deck totally useless if you're not uh, but three for zero if you're playing a penguin deck and again check out that penguin video he fits in nicely there because penguins obviously ocean and sea cards um, but he's a good card and definitely definitely worth an honorable mention queen angelfish your oceans and sea cards in hand cost minus four again worth an honorable mention six for 35 out of the box this one but Again, if you are playing Ocean Seas and there's some really cool Ocean of Seas decks, then definitely worth a consideration, especially on those low energy weeks. So that's an honourable mention in our Fusion Cards countdown. Goes to the Queen Angelfish. Okay, here we go. Are we on to number one? We are on to number one. Anybody got any ideas? Number one Fusion Cards. There's a lot of good ones, but here we go. Our choice, and I'm sure you might disagree, but I think by a long way, this is the best fusion card. Sea Sheep, your opponent's cards in hand with 41 or more base power lose minus 30 this turn. Four for 40, beautiful picture on that card as well, which gives me a little bit of uh, a happy feeling, but that's the Sea Sheep. Your opponent's cards in hand with 41 or more base power lose minus 30 this turn. 
that card, that CC card there, can fit in pretty much every deck and do some damage to your opponent. So that's why I've got him at number one on the fusion cards. I'm sure people will disagree with our list, so do leave your list in the comments. We're really interested to see what other people think. And like I said, if you are a new player, I hope this is useful for you to pick which cards to fuse. Thanks for watching. Do leave us a like and we will speak to you very soon.